Merry Christmas, Christus Victor. God's grace and peace to you. It's great to be with you today. So we're gonna be talking just a little bit about traditions, some of our favorite ones, and some of the traditions that we're developing in our households, and also around here at Christus Victor in this community as we live in and through God's grace here. So when Pastor Stefan came to the United States 30 years ago, he was welcomed at people's tables. What I understand is that he even had a social secretary who organized these events true, where yeah. people held him in at their table. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, uh, over the years, we've had people at our table, of course, um, family, mm -hmm. and then at our Thanksgiving table, uh, friends who started out their lives not in the United States necessarily, in some other place. And so we had the Essers from Germany for a while and they gave birth to their three children. Uh, one was born first and then came over. So they happened to be very similar in age to our kids. And they came from Germany. And then we had the Takeda family who came mm -hmm. and Yana got to yeah. know them, yes, from Japan uh, through school. And then they had to go back so sadly and we weren't sure who is going to come to our Thanksgiving table? Uh, but then the um, India was represented, Japan again, and then in the last few years we've had our neighbors from Taiwan there. And so, of course, Thanksgiving isn't necessarily a part of the tradition in these other lands. And so it's been really fun to be a part of that with them. And Taiwanese food is now on the Thanksgiving table. And as Shefan was welcomed and loved and brought into the peace and the joy of other people's tables, not just at Thanksgiving, just on a weekday or a weekend, we have been honored to do the same. Yeah, so for me, traditions are very important. And I grew up um, in, in Germany, and so I remember um, as a kid, my brother and I, and I shared that story before, but it uh, always comes up around this time of the year. We had to stand in our small kitchen in Frankfurt, in our apartment, and wait uh, on December 24th until my mom said, now it's time you can go into the room. And as um, we were waiting, my brother, seven years older, taller, he got on a chair and changed the time. So because my mom said six o'clock is Bescherung, so that's when you can come in to the room and he changed the time and she got all worked up and I said, yeah, six o'clock, it is. <laughs> so, and then we walked in and we saw a beautiful decorated uh, tree and uh, many packages under the tree, but we couldn't touch them because my mom insisted to sing Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, Silent Night, Kinderlein Comet, Kinderlein Comet, we sang, uh, and then we were able to open the boxes. So uh, Christmas traditions are very close uh, about the Christmas tree, and there's no coincidence that we are sitting now behind or in front of our Christmas tree here at Christus Victor. And this tradition goes back to Darlene Greaves, uh, who um, uh, created all these beautiful ornaments. And they are not just put on the tree. We learned over the years now, the man's group is putting up the trees, that they have a specific uh, meaning. And so the top on the tree, the ornaments are describing the circle of the Trinity. So first is Father, then Son, Jesus, and then the Holy Spirit. So you can see the ornaments there. And then on the bottom is the circle of life. And the circle of life uh, is starts with Advent, God's coming into the world, and then we have um, Christmas, and then Epiphany, and then we have the Lenten season, so there are beautiful ornaments, and then we have uh, Resurrection, and then we have Ascension, and uh, the time of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit comes. So these ornaments uh, show the tradition of the life and the circle of life. But we are also creating beautiful traditions here at Christus Victor with our Sunday School. The kids are so excited, particularly this year, to share the Christmas story uh, through Charlie Brown, uh, which will be on uh, Sunday the 15th. So please join us for that. And then uh, an amazing tradition here at Christus Victor is that we keep going and it touches so many hearts through music. It's our, it's our Christmas music festival on December 22nd. At the so 11 o'clock service. At the 11 o'clock service, which is a little bit different than before. But uh, this is an event where music really brings the Christmas story home and touches us. 
and I'm also very, very thankful for the tradition of our quilters. So our quilting group over the years that Darlene started uh, made thousands of quilts and now uh, late Carol Rectoris uh, kept going and, and now it's passing on to a, a new generation and a new group of ladies who are meeting every Monday and making these quilts and these are traditions that share who Christus Victor is, that we want to share God's love and want to reach out. But of course, in order to do all this, we need to have support. We need to have people who participate and we need to have the congregation supporting. And so um, our message is, let's support it. And I wonder how Pam can help us and what ideas you have, how we can support now uh, the beautiful mission we have here to share Jesus' love. Well, one of the things I want to say first about tradition is that um, they're not just memories. Yeah. They're not just um, fond things to look back on, but they really are seeds that we're planting for the future. They're a foundation that we're building as families, as a community, and as Christus Victor. In order to do that, we need all of you. We yeah. need your labor, we need your love, we need your prayers. Yeah. Um, and as we come to the end of this calendar year, we're hoping that everybody um, looks at, a little deeper in their pockets yeah. and fulfills their pledges and their financial commitments to these ministries that we all care so much about. But maybe even dig a little deeper and consider a year-end gift that is a, a special extra gift that can go to support some of your favorite ministries. Mm -hmm. Prayer shawl ministries, the elf breakfast that we just had with puppies, mm -hmm. um, not just the Thanksgiving dinner and the big things that we're familiar with, but youth mission trips and mm -hmm. confirmation in Sunday school. All those things that matter so much to you and that really seed the foundation of faith in families who are coming here to Christus Victor, some for the very first time. And what makes me particularly happy and proud is to see kids who grew up with my sons coming back with their children. and experiencing the joy and the love and the faith building support available here at Christus Victor that was there for them when they were children and that we really hope you will help invest in for the future of their children as well. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We want to go out in 2024 with a bang, a big success and enter 2025 as strong as we possibly can. Merry Christmas Merry, and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs>